Welcome to all you boaters out there and soon to become boaters. And thanks for joining us on another great episode of Boat Show TV, where we worship all things that float. Stu Jones here at the Florida Powerboat Club Studios in Pompano Beach, Florida. And we are pleased to present episode number five of our new series with part two of our highlights from the Miami International Boat Show 2014. We're covering all the bases with leading manufacturers of fishing boats, express cruisers, performance boats, pontoons, and even some big luxury yachts from the Yacht and Brokerage Show in Miami Beach just down the street. It's all here on Boat Show TV, so let's get going. It's showtime. Today's first stop is Bahama Boat Works, where we got to talk to Bob Sparks about his line of high-end custom fishing boats. Hey everybody, I'm here on the new Bahama Boat with Mr. Bob Sparks, the president of Bahama Boat Works. Bob, tell us what we got going on here. What we have here is a 41 Bahama built custom for a person. We do a lot of trick hardware. We've got pop-up cleats with stud-mounted hardware, drop-in anchor locker. All our hatches are finished on both sides with a double O-ring seal. Moving back forward, we have forward seating, fish box. These are custom with chill plates in it. Now through the center to the back, there's storage in the middle here. And the next hatch back is an optional live well or what we can use for dive tanks, dive gear That's to put good. in there to wash out. Mm -hmm. That's handy. Now the front of the console, you've had a, 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 a day cooler for drinks and stuff. Then the console itself, you can go down on the console, has six foot four of headroom, uh, 12 foot storage forward and aft just for a lot of gear, clothes going back and forth to the Bahamas doing different traveling. Then at the console, we got two 8,000 garments that have a slide up panel in there to keep things locked and out of the weather. This boat has a dual station, dual control tower with interface electronics up on the top, has custom underwater lights, chill plates, metallic paint job, uh, custom painted Yamaha 350s, top speed about 62 miles an hour, great cruising speed at 40 miles an hour, one mile of the gallon. Uh, the boat's 41 foot overall length, 11 foot beam, 600 gallons of fuel, 60 gallons of fresh water, uh, CNC computerized numerical control cut bottom, uh, all hand laid fiberglass, hatches finished on both sides, line boxes, uh, massive construction. We, we, the way we put all the stringers in the boat and fuel tanks and liner, everything is glassed in, foamed in. We vacuum the inner liner into the boat when it's still in the mold to keep it a true molded boat. Just going on from there, everything's semi-custom to meet the customer's special needs to, to fish or diving or traveling or whatever he does or tender for a large, large motor yacht. Well, I, I see I see that it is set up for fishing. I can't I haven't counted them, but there is a pile of out, of uh, rod holders here. Rod holders and optional drink holders, uh, just everything custom. Like I said, if you, you really look at the boat, there's no fasteners. All the hinges have welded on studs from the back, so you don't have screws to fester, give you a problem. I use the best gel coats, resin, vacuum bag, vinyl ester resin, solid glass stringer, solid glass bottom, cord hall sides, cord four, cord cap, console, hatches. Hard top is a one-off custom piece. We do, do different pieces with that and all hand finished. You won't find any raw glass anywhere. It's really overkill. It's what we call the Bentley of the sport fishing. Up next, we take a quick tour of the signature model from Harris Float Boat, this stunning Crown 250. This 27-foot stunner has triple pontoons and dual 300 horsepower Mercury Verados. It has nice faux teak and woven seagrass flooring throughout with plenty of room for up to 16 people. High-end luxury touches set the Harris float boat apart from other pontoon boats. Check out this gorgeous helm station with optional touchscreen GPS. The Polk audio system has numerous control points and has Bluetooth and USB capabilities. There are six speakers on board so everyone can enjoy the music. This float boat comes equipped with joystick piloting for easy handling of the two matching Mercury 300 Verados. The Crown 250 was recognized with the National Marine Manufacturers Association Innovation Award for 2013. When we come back, the Boat Show TV crew stops by to get the latest from Century Boats. Don't go away. Boat Show TV will be right back. Boats, boats are 
Looking for an amazing fish boat? It's time to experience Blackwater. They run 70 miles per hour, getting you to the fish faster. Check out our latest creation, the brand new 36 Sport model with full wraparound forward and rear seating and live wells too. Brand new and in stock starting at just $229.9. Get pre-approved now at BoatsDirectUSA.com to schedule a sea trial. Call now, toll free, 866-377-5403. Mile marker 98, Key Largo. not all be in the same boat, but out on the water, we're all on the same wavelength. In the Florida Keys and Key West. Ventures Marine Superstore wants you to get on the water. Check out our new 30,000 square foot waterfront showroom on over three acres featuring power boats, fishing boats, pontoon boats, hovercrafts, tenders, kayaks, and SUPs. Get 20% off select items during our grand opening sale. Register to win a Hobie kayak, Riviera SUP, GoPro camera, and more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Take Sterling Road east of I-95, go left on South Bryan Road. Get, get on, on the water. water. Welcome back to Boat Show TV. Coverage continues of the Miami International Boat Show, presented by Progressive Insurance. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here with Brian Lucius from Century Boats. Would you tell us what's going on with this new boat? Absolutely. Well, this is our 2200. Uh, you can see it's, it's, it comes well equipped with a lot of standard features uh, as far as, you know, uh, equipped with eight rod holders. If you want to bump it up to 12 or 16 or however you like to fish, uh, we could certainly uh, make that happen for you. So uh, from the, from the, uh, the hard top to, uh, to our aluminum, uh, everything is quality on a Century boat. Well, I've had a chance to look at a few of the boats you have here today, and they all have a head. Is that for the ladies? Is that to keep so the wife can come and join us? Well, it's, uh, it certainly doesn't hurt, that's for sure. So, uh, and, and all of our heads you can get into, you can stand, you can actually move around when you get into it, so it's, uh, it's a nice feature. Really, really, okay, and I see you have a fish knob. I'm impressed. Not a lot of boats out there that even fishing boats have the fish knob on the wheel. We do, standard feature on all centuries is gonna have the fish knob, so it makes it easy to maneuver and turn. I get to drive a boat now and then, and when I got that knob, especially when we're backing up, it sure makes a difference. Absolutely. I've made a couple other uh, things that I've saw on your boat, and I see that it's all ready for outriggers. Do you not put outriggers in? You let the clients choose what they like? How does that work? We do do that at the factory if it's an older boat by request, uh, but uh, that way in the event uh, you want to add them later, it's equipped, the pads are there, all you got to do is drill through it, throw them in, you're ready to go. What's the fuel capacity on this boat? It's going to have a 100 gallon fuel cell in it, so in a 22 foot, it's going to have very solid range for, so for a boat So you're looking at about class. 170 to 200 miles. Next, the Boat Show TV crew headed outside for some fresh air and to see the latest crossover style center console from Sensation Boats. Boat Show TV finally made it over to the in-water side of the Miami Boat Show. We're here at Sea Isle Marina. Ran into a couple of my boating friends here. And on my left, ladies first, Mindy Dollar from Dollar Offshore Marine. And Dollar is a dealer for Sensation Power Boats. And on my right is Joe Sheldonbrand from Sensation, the builder from Michigan. And uh, they've got a new little uh, sister ship here. They've been had a lot of success with their 34 center console. And of course, Sensation has been building performance boats for a couple of decades now. Uh, but this is a new... Uh, entrance here. Joe, uh, what do you think? Um, tw 29 foot twin 150s. Uh, this has got to be a, this has had to be a big hit here. Yeah, it really was. Um, the boat actually exceeded our expectations. Uh, it drives from our performance side of things with the lower hull 
of our 28 footer. Sure. So even though it's a center council, I, I like to refer to it as a sport council. Sure. I mean, it's a phenomenal how it runs. Twin 150s, we're getting almost 60 mile an hour out of it, yep. which is incredible. And uh, base price, you got this thing coming in uh, at 129. Mindy, that's a good setup for you. You're a dealer here in South Florida. It's a great fishing market. Could be a fishing boat, but that's, it's going to be ultimately a custom boat. I guess you could put some rod holders and rig it out and make it nice for fishing, but maybe a family that just wants to buy it and cruise it. Well, you know, that's that's the thing, Stu. We've got fishing options. You've got a live well, bait well, if you want to use them, set them up as that. We've got rod holders. The nice thing is, is it's a multi-purpose boat. So when the family, you get done for fishing for the day and you get in and you all run out, and go to dinner, you're pulling up at the dock with tons of style yeah. and, and it's really a great boat. Up next, here on Boat Show TV, we head over to talk to the guys at Power Play Boats to hear about their new 42-foot center console. We're with Tommy Mason now here at Power Play. Uh, we stopped by and visited with you at the last boat show, and we saw the new 35, but now you got this beautiful new 42 with Yamaha Power. Tell me about the new boat. Uh, the new 42 is based off the 38 Power Play. Uh, all we did was basically raise the hull sides, put an integrated European transom on the back of it, and we still get to retain the 38 Power Play ride but, and the performance of it, but now you get the in, uh, comfortability and the... Uh, you know, the ease of use of the boat without having to have that sport deck on it. You can still right. sit around, walk, do whatever you want. So you get a full-size cabin inside, everything you want in the boat. What's the beam on the new boat? Uh, it's actually 10 feet. The 38 actually had a 8, 6-foot beam, and it's now 10. That's just from raising the whole size, and it brought it up to the side. I noticed that you built the boat with twin Yamaha 350s, where we're seeing a lot of builders in the show are putting trips on. Obviously, you build custom, so you're going to do whatever a customer wants up to quads, but how does it run with the twin? Uh, with the twin 350s, the boat as it is, ready to go, it should run about 60 plus right now. So we actually tested the first boat with a running plug and it got 63 miles an hour with twin 300s. So we put the 350s on and we think that the boat fully done should run 60 plus with them. How heavy are these boats coming out now? The 42 looks like a real big boat. It's got to be heavy. At its absolute heaviest, full of fuel, full of weight, full of people, it'll be about 15,000 pounds. That's a real wave crushing machine in my when I, in my world. If you have 15,000 pounds, you're going to beat up some waves. But uh, Tommy, thanks for the uh, time here at the booth. Thanks. We're going to get a closer look at both of the boats. All right, cool. Thanks. Up next on Boat Show TV, we head back inside to see the latest fishing machine from Contender Boats. Hey boaters, if you enjoy performance boating and fun in the sun, Florida Power Boat Club has everything you need. We plan the best events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations in Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to enjoy the lifestyle. Social membership starts at just 69 bucks and includes the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, FPCT, exciting DVDs, and our great parties. Call our Pompano Beach headquarters, like us on Facebook, or visit flpowerboat.com. It's time to get in on the fun. BoatsDirectUSA.com is your Florida Keys connection for the best prices on beautiful new boats, used boats, and quality service for your existing boat. You will save thousands on new boat brands like Contender, Blackwater, Deep Impact, Statement, and Oceanhawk, as we are the exclusive dealer. At BoatsDirectUSA.com, you will choose from the largest and nicest selection of quality pre-owned boats, too. Over 70 boats in stock. Financing is available. Just log on to BoatsDirectUSA.com now to get pre-approved. Trade-ins are welcome, so trade up into your dream boat at BoatsDirectUSA.com. Mile marker 98 in the middle, Key Largo. Need service on your existing boat? We have full-time certified Yamaha, Mercury, and Mercury Verado technicians on site. And we are your authorized parts dealer. Call today to learn more about our 100-hour services and general repair work at BoatsDirectUSA.com. Welcome back to Boat Show TV's coverage of the Miami International Boat Show, presented by Progressive Insurance. I'm standing here with my friend, Captain Rick Murphy, in front of the brand new 28 contender. Rick, tell us about this new boat. Well, Don, I gotta tell you, this is a 28S, and it's capability of having 500 horsepower on the back. Now, this particular boat has twin 200s, and the great part about it is that it actually saves a little weight, which gives us a lot more performance. This particular new 28S has 24 and a half degree dead rise. So it's really got a deep V, which allows you to zip through the waves. Now this particular boat's been designed for me so that I can fish out in the Gulf of Mexico. The great part for this, uh, the way we've designed a lot of these boats is you have a variety of different options. 
This particular boat we put with a hard top so we can have maximum shade. We have a, a, a bunch of different setups when it comes to the rod rack configurations, but the great part about Contender is even though they're a production boat, you can customize your boat to the what you need. 185 gallons, has a 45 gallon live well, great pumps, 2,500 gallon an hour live well pumps, keeps your bait live and good to go. Up next, Stu caught up with the gang at the skater booth to talk about high performance engines with Chief Engine Master Mechanic, Tommy Hofstetter. Well, we stopped by the Skater Power Boats booth and uh, Tommy from Chief Performance uh, still has that strong affiliation with Peter Lednet Skater and he's a Skater Nation dealer. So that's why he's here and that's why this big engine is here. Tommy, you got a lot going on. Tell us first of all, what is this big monster motor? This motor here is a uh, 557 cubic inch. It's 1350 horsepower. It's going in Buddy Thomas's new uh, Outer Limits. Uh, th so uh, an engine like that, uh, you know, how long does it take you to build something like that? Well, they certainly are a project. It takes about two months to, to put them together. It's got my uh, uh, chief competition engine management system, all my electronics on it, my dashboard on it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be a great package, and uh, the boat should run really good. Right behind us is a brand new 388 skater. It's, it's going on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. It belongs to Mike Chisuli, uh, a club member. Tell us more about this boat, uh, the paint job, the, the power. It's a really beautiful paint job that they put on it. It's uh, gorgeous. I love the color scheme on it. It's got uh, 1350 marks in it and uh, maiden voyages for the, uh, for the poker run coming up. So we're all real excited to see what it is. All right, well, uh, and by the way, that paint, I happen to notice, T-A-O-D, the art of design, Dean Laux, uh, one of the best in the business, no doubt. Uh, two other boats in the booth, not sure uh, whose they are, but they sure look nice. We'll take a closer look. Up next, we slipped over to the Miami Yacht and Brokerage Show to see the crown jewel of Atlantic Yacht and Ship's Miami display, a 127-foot IAG... I'm on the top deck of a 127-foot IAG motor yacht. I'm with Joe Marino of Atlantic Yacht and Ship. Joe, the space that we're in up here, three stories above the water, is big enough to play volleyball in. Tell me a little bit about the other features on this boat. It's a tri-deck 127, 26 foot, six beam. This uh, particular yacht has uh, six staterooms, six full baths, and has a uh, sky lounge, large aft deck eating area, forward uh, alfresco dining area, and also a um, sky lounge aft deck eating area. So you have three areas of the boat outside for dining and entertaining. Uh, the boat is built at IAG in Macau, China. Uh, it's hull number two of the boats built so far in the United States. And there are two more, a 133 and a 140 arriving in the next 16 to 18 months. Oh, beautiful. So you'll have even something larger and more grand than this coming. Yes. We'll have That's amazing. A, a totally new styling on the exterior and a voluminous interior that will exceed this particular boat. Volume, you mentioned volume. I couldn't help but notice when I walked into the master, it was nearly a 10 foot tall ceiling with skylights. It's something I've never seen on a yacht. Just absolutely stunning. That's, that's correct. This boat was designed for the American market. We tend to have bigger folks that are more athletic, and this boat was designed truly for the American market. And what kind of tenders and toys does she carry? The tender and toy option actually is an additional option for the uh, prospective buyer. So you could outfit it with a rigid bottom inflatable and several jet skis. There is a garage for jet skis, but the tender would sit on this deck right here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you can't, uh, I couldn't help but notice, and I have to mention, it's got a hot tub on the top deck. That just looks like it's someplace I'd like to be. Don't go away. Boat Show TV will be right back with our coverage of the Miami International Boat Show. Hey, wait a minute. I know that face. It's not your everyday face, but I know it. It's a face of joy, of calm, a face of exhilaration, even surprise. Oh, I know where I've seen that face. 
Welcome to the water. Step into voting with our free DVD at discoverboating.com. Next, we rejoin Boat Show TV's yachting expert, Captain Richard Murray, to check out a sleek 62-foot azimuth. I just stepped aboard a 62-foot azimuth, and I'm here with Chris Carroll from Atlantic Yacht and Ship. Chris, you just walked me through this boat, and I was blown away at the size of the master down there. Tell me a little bit about the layout and the design on this azimuth. This uh, azimuth particularly has a great open floor plan. Um, the salon and the galley are very open. They all kind of work together, as well as the uh, master stateroom with a large uh, walk-in closet, and then some very massive windows on each side of the hull, which uh, make it feel very large. Yeah, I noticed the windows letting a lot of light in, and it just doesn't feel like a, an enclosed space. It's beautiful. And this is the 62 Flybridge model. Tell us a little bit about uh, the layout upstairs. Up top, we've got a nice table where you could have dinner, lunch, whatever. There's also a uh, big bunny pad for sunbathing and that kind of stuff. Um, this boat is also powered with uh, Caterpillar engines that are under warranty. You get a 32 knot cruise and it's a uh, great space to, to be. Wow, 32 knots on a boat this size sounds absolutely stunning. Thank you very much for your time, Chris. Thanks. We continue our visit to Atlantic Yacht and Ship with a tour of a 64-foot Sunseeker. So I just caught up with Herb Bopp of Atlantic Yacht and Ship. We just climbed up on the flying bridge of the 64-foot Sunseeker. And Herb, when we went through the boat, I couldn't help but notice the galley is moved aft in this boat. Tell me a little bit about that design feature. Well, it's a little bit unusual, but it gives you a lot of room in the center portion of the boat. And it's also great for entertaining on the uh, aft deck. Right here for the Florida area for uh, uh, cruising the islands and up and down in the uh, intercoastal area. Yeah, I did notice that it would be easy for somebody in the galley to serve cocktails and hors d'oeuvres out onto the aft deck. That would be great in the island sitting in anchor with a beautiful breeze. It also has a nice stateroom downstairs, big full beam master. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the boat has uh, three pretty large staterooms. The master is very large, be uh, full beam, and has uh, extremely large windows in the master, so it gives you a lot of natural light down there. A lot of boats are, are dark below the deck. That's true. And tell me a little bit about her engines and cruising speed. How fast is she? Well, this is a pretty quick boat. She cruises about 25 knots with a top end of uh, just a little bit over 30. It's a deep V hull, rides really smooth. Only has a four and a half foot draft, so it's great to go to the islands and uh, uh, very easy to maintain also. Our last yacht for this episode is a water jet powered Leopard with an amazingly small draft for a 79 foot yacht. All right, just stepped aboard a 79 foot Leopard. Beautiful wide open concept motor yacht and I've caught here up with my friend Chris Carroll from Atlantic Yacht and Ship. Chris, this thing looks like it would be ideal in the South Florida atmosphere. Tell me a little bit about this boat. Absolutely. Well, this Leopard has a uh, tremendous amount of outdoor space. Um, it's got a hard top, which is a big plus on this one. And um, obviously it's got jet drives. So the shallow draft is really a big thing and it's uh, only about four feet. On this wow, one. four foot draft makes that ideal for a Bahamas boat running down in the Keys. I noticed that the sunroof is open, so we'll have the outdoors coming inside. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. The, uh, the boat is a very fast boat. It, What's its top speed? Top speed is about 33, 34 knots. That's huge for a boat this size. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it's very fuel efficient as well with the uh, MTUs, uh, 1600 horsepower MTUs. So. Beautiful. How many cabins are below? There's uh, three guest cabins and three heads and also a uh, crew for two. Beautiful. Beautiful. And does she carry any tenders? I notice it looks like it's got a pretty good sized garage. Absolutely. There's a uh, big garage in the back with a uh, inflatable. Well. Wonderful. Thank you, Chris. To polish off our coverage of the Miami Boat Show, we had to show you some footage of the amazing Mastercraft display. Check out this great spinning display high off the show floor. Highlights from the Mastercraft display included this orange X-Star model, 
which features a well-designed interior for serious wakeboarding fun. Here, we can see the generous bow seating from an X46 model. The real star of the Miami Boat Show was this incredible, handmade, African mahogany Stancraft. Stancraft worked with Mastercraft to produce this all-wood X30 series Mastercraft model. The workmanship evident in this boat was amazing, and we just had to show it to our Boat Show TV viewers. Thanks for watching Boat Show TV. Our next episode will feature our coverage of the Emerald Coast Boat Show from the Emerald Coast Convention Center. It's a star-studded cast of the top dealers and manufacturers with a great mix of fishing, cruising, recreational, and family boats. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching Boat Show TV's coverage of the Miami International Boat Show presented by Progressive Insurance. See you next time.